Hello. Well, today I'm here to talk about uh, a film that uh, 80 years ago, uh, well, technically this December, uh, it'll be specifically 80 years, but uh, they re-released the film now um, in advance. Um, and actually, the day I'm uh, shooting this, the 23rd, you know, January 23rd, is actually the very day it came out in America nationwide very classic film that is beloved by so many and um that film is of course Casablanca and um here is the 70th anniversary set um the uh, film is 80 years old um winner of three academy awards for you know best picture and uh, one uh, director and screenplay and Excuse the sort of crudeness of this, essentially, but yeah, you know, I had, I got this from Amazon some years back. I didn't get it when it was brand new, but I got it when it was, you know, uh, probably the seventy fifth anniversary. And there wasn't really any real big special thing that I saw, um, and this was at a pretty decent price. My mom actually, uh got this sort of set before um, before I did and uh, so yeah um, 80 years ago this film came out um, uh, you know I uh, there's really not much I can say I mean the plot you know uh, these people are in uh, occupied uh French occupied Casablanca and you know Germany's coming over to basically sort of like you know kind of like take over basically and uh, looking for people um, particularly Victor Laszlo then of course there's like you know Rick of course uh, uh, Humphrey Bogart and Elsa uh, Ingrid Bergman and Paul, uh, or any, Henry, uh, as uh, Victor Laszlo, her husband, and uh, the uh, relationship between those two and what they, the past they had uh, years prior, and sort of a conflict that's going on, and then also there's Claude Rains, <laughs> you know, as the French police inspector, and um, Peter Lorre. Conrad Viet and uh, Sydney Greenstreet, um, Michael Curtis uh, directed this film, and it's a, an incredible film from beginning to end. Um, a, a true classic, and I got to see it on the big screen uh, the, this very day, uh, the 23rd, as I'm shooting uh, shooting this video, um, which is also my grandfather's birthday. He's uh, Eighty-one, uh, and he's uh, had a good day, so that's that's good. Um, but yeah, he. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, an excellent film. Um, I guess it'd be interesting to uh, show what's in this set. Um, here's the back. Um, ooh. -hoo. Um, so it comes with this uh, book, um, as well as a poster, which I have not framed because, well, I just have not had a chance to get a frame for it. But it's the uh, like an old, uh, like the old poster. It looks really good. Um, uh, and then this uh, nice book with it um, and the plane uh, this is a fantastic set though I'm wondering uh, if they will have a new version of this though I'm quite happy with this film or this particular version um, you know, Rick's Cafe <laughs> uh, 
we all or everybody at Rick's is was the original title Rick Blaine and um, Humphrey Bogart was truly uh, incredible in this film and Sam you know, play it again Sam uh, is not actually a quote from the film but everybody says that line said is play it Sam <laughs> or play it again or play it uh, and or some variations of that uh, but play it again Sam is not one of them um, great book to, uh, to look at um, you know, winning uh, best picture director and screenplay um, National Film Registry, one of the very first films to ever be inducted into the uh, film registry, um, or at least one of the early years. Um, 89. I want to say 87 was the first year uh, that the U.S. National Film Registry happened, but uh, I can't uh, recall offhand. Uh, the American Film Institute's uh, American Movies List, uh, second greatest in 1998, the, the 70, or the 37th Thrilling in 2001, and the first Passionate Film in 2002. Um, this is a uh, yeah, and then the uh, Blu-rays and DVD. Special features and such, uh, all the discs. Of course, you know the DVD. And then there are coasters. Uh, I have never opened these, um, just because I don't. I don't believe I would ever really want to use them. Sort of like a collectible. There you go. There's the, all of them. You know, the Blue Parrot and the and Rick's Cafe American. Uh, if you can see it there pretty well. Hopefully you can. Um, but yeah, um, the film. So, you know what I've usually done, uh, aside from seeing this on the stuff like this on the big screen, which was excellent. Um, you know, the, uh, there was a lot of people. There's quite a bit of people uh, that saw this film on the big screen, uh, which I actually like. I like when there's a decent amount of people uh, arriving to see a film like this. Here we go. But, you know, there's a, when it comes to old films being re-released, some you might think would have many people who really love it would show up and a good amount of people would be there. It isn't always the case. Um, sometimes it is. But, you know, with this film, there's a good amount of people. Um, not as many as um, when I saw... The Invisible Man, Wolfman double feature. Then again, the, the many people brought their families. Like, you know, grandparents brought their kids, or their grandkids, and parents brought their kids, and so on. So that was more of a full house, and made the experience really fun and uh, cool. Um, it was still ex incredible to see on the big screen. You know, I, I any time I'm able to see one of these films, and... I'm not always able to see some of these on the big screen either. I have things going on, you know, like, you know, life happens, and so we can't see some of these films uh, that we love to see on the big screen. Um, 
but you know, sometimes stuff like that happens, uh, and uh, you know, that's fine. Like, yeah, I wanted to see Taxi Driver for its 40th anniversary. I didn't get to, um, but uh, I don't regret not uh, seeing it either because uh, I was with like uh, friends and family who were just hanging out and doing. Doing things and it was a very good time, um, so I don't really regret that. I uh, stuff like that, you know, you know, some things like that are m more important. You know, I try to go on the weekends, like you know Sundays. They do offer stuff in the on Wednesdays in the middle of the week often. Um, it's not a bad time to see it, but at the same time, it's like I, I don't know. I prefer like the weekend when you know it's definitely more you know free time to actually go and see some of these films sometimes i've seen them in the on wednesdays um you know if things are you know align right and able to see in the middle of the week then fine but you know usually see it on sundays and casablanca uh, from beginning to end was truly incredible uh, I remember when I was like 14 or 15, I first saw this around that age. And I was really uh, uh, just captivated by the story and the performances and just everything. Uh, of course, the famous line at the very end, well, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Um, you know, you know, I've... Uh, I really love this film, and I know I'm being fairly vague about the whole plot and all, but this is a classic film, and so many people have already seen it. You know, don't really have to uh, divulge in plot points, because most people watching this have likely already seen it. Um, and to those who haven't, you know, I don't really want to even spoil stuff, because, uh, you know, and some of the stuff... might be ruined in, uh, in part. You know, this was released in, De in New York in 42. You know, only in 42, like, in New York, because I want to test the water due to the whole, like, uh, war going on. You know, America just entered the war at the end of 1941, and so stuff like this could be, might not go over very well, you know. You know, with v various people. And so, you know, obviously you have to be careful in a ways and yet also tell the story as intended and not just shy away and everything. They wanted to do it right, and I believe they did. They made an incredible film that 80 years later is still watched today, still loved. Um, I, yeah, I... I I think that um, Bogart should have won the Academy Award for uh, this film. He was nominated, his first nomination. Uh, I forget offhand who wa beat him. Uh, I think I saw it, that, that film. But it's sort of escaping me. But, you know, uh, you know, and... But, you know, with this film, he... he this is truly one of his best performances. If it's not his best, it's definitely one of his best. Um, the Maltese Falcon is also incredible. Um, it's got nominated for the 1943 Academy Awards due to... Or, 44, I guess, technically. Due to it being released nationwide in 43. And, and the Academy, you got to have your film at, least at the bare minimum. Released in Los Angeles for two weeks in order to be eligible, you know, in the theater uh, for, like, the Academy Awards. And as times go on, they've included, like, you know, if, if that can't be a thing for whatever reason, then film festivals, like, have been nominated and or won certain awards. It can be eligible. And these days, they've also included streaming, though some people have talked about streaming and saying how perhaps... The Emmys would be more appropriate, but, you know, that's enough of awards. 
you know, you know, and with the Emmys because it's TV and you're not seeing a film, you know, in a theater. So you know, but like best TV movie or actor or actress in a TV movie would uh, be more appropriate. But you know, that's a discussion that uh, has persisted quite a bit, and there's always people with pros and cons to that, but, you know, with the Academy acknowledging streaming films, but, uh, uh, within the last so many, a uh, couple years, at least, with various places not always able to have theaters open, um, it does make sense that awards would acknowledge, you know, streamings, uh, you know, uh, uh, films, films that are streaming, instead of just being in theaters only. Um, but I do think that the theatrical experience is not going away. And the fact that a f an 80-year-old film like this can get a good, decent audience here in, like, Des Moines, Iowa, or I guess technically West Des Moines is where I saw it, but still it's the west side of Des Moines, but that's a thing of its own. Um, but the fact that a good amount of people were able to see or went out and saw this on a Sunday afternoon and uh, basically enjoyed the experience I did I definitely enjoyed it um, just as much as I did the first time and any subsequent rewatching of the film uh, since you know be it on TV or borrowing like the DVDs or having rewatched like my mom's uh, version of this uh, until getting this uh, uh, for myself um, this is a really a classic film. If you uh, ever, uh, you know, perhaps by the, you know, obviously by the time this comes out, the f film won't be in the select theaters anymore. Um, through the Fathom events, with Turner Classic Movies, and all. But you know, if any time in the future, um, if this film is in a theater, wherever you are, you know, here in America, or if you're watching around the world, and this. Uh, uh, happens to uh, be a film that will be shown like for a classic uh, movie like day or what have you you know such as what Fab of them events does um, I would say go see it um, if you've watched it I, it is definitely if you watched it before it's definitely worth seeing on the big screen if you've never seen it I think if Seeing it in a theater will be the first time you see it. I think that would be a great experience to see uh, for the first time. Uh, the performances and everything would. It, 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 I always appreciate stuff like this even more when I see it on a big screen. You know, no matter how many times I had seen something like this, and I've seen this many times, I couldn't even count. <laughs> really, uh, I, I could try, I guess, do an estimate, but I might not be closer whatever and I know I'm kind of going all over the place but you know but films like this I really love it's an incredible movie from beginning to end um you know there is a romantic uh, aspect of this of course there's war aspects of it you know because of you know World War II and all it's an incredible film there's some funny moments that people responded to people laughed at you know lines you know that are meant to be funny, and they work. Um, like eighty years later, it still works. It's you know some things just you know age really well. Some things you know don't just they stuck in the moment like of the time it was made, and then after like five ten years later, like something that happened in a film or said. It, has aged, you know, that's not the case here, I mean, yeah, it's in black and white and all, but still an incredible film, um, you know, in a way, you know, it, this, this sort of story of what all goes on, it's a very simple story, and it could be, it could even work today, but I'm also hesitant to say that because I would be afraid that the Hollywood would perhaps try to remake this film, and they shouldn't. You know, there are films that should never be remade. This is one of them. You know, they should never touch this film 
ever again, you know, re-release it in theaters every so often, like for anniversaries like the 80th. But otherwise, aside from that and any subsequent uh, home video releases, let's just uh, leave it alone. You know, some things should just stay alone. Um, and regarding this, because of how this all works, I have a rubber band oh, over there that I'm able to help close it and uh, or keep it closed. And I uh, usually uh, have it like right there or so. It doesn't really look very appe appealing, but it's the best I can do. Um, but yeah, Casablanca is a film I I really love. I was happy I got to see it on the big screen. Um, I could talk on and on about this, but uh, I don't want this video to be... Uh, longer than it should be. Uh, so yeah, uh, what do you think of this film? Do you enjoy it? Do you maybe dislike it? Um, why or why not? Um, if you want to uh, uh, give your thoughts on it, uh, you may do so, of course, in the comments. Um, and I, I, I always count myself fortunate to seeing films like this on the big screen, because you know, it is very special, and they only show it to uh, two nights at, you know, two times each night, you know, like in the afternoon and the evening. Um, so, you know, you get, you get basically you get four chances to see this film um, uh, during a run like this for Fathom Events. Uh, in a fil any films like this, you know, there's other films that will come out later for anniversaries and just because you know great films and should be just re-released uh, re or are at least uh, classic films that people might want to see um, so anyway I've uh, uh, talked a lot about this already uh, I love this film it's excellent I always love watching it and uh, yeah I hope all of you are Having a great day and are having and are uh, had a great week and will have a, a great week next week, and I hope your weekend will be uh, uh, great as well. Um, so until next time, I hope all of you will stay safe and you know be well. Take care. Bye.